What's going on guys? This is David here. So it's actually been a long time since I've made a video like this using YouTube Capture with my phone recording a video for you guys this way. So I wanted to just kind of go over a little bit of what's been going on. I know Apple released iOS 9.3.5 and the change log and you know update logs or whatever you want to call them. They look pretty scary from you know numerous reports it looks pretty scary. So I'm going to be kind of explaining what is going on with that. But first, I just wanted to touch on this. Uh, yesterday, Apple stopped signing both iOS 9.3.2 and iOS 9.3.3. Once Apple actually stops signing a firmware, it means you can no longer downgrade or upgrade to that firmware. So in a tutorial that I did previously, probably a few weeks ago, I detailed how to actually go inside of iTunes and shift click or option click, check for update, grab that IPSW for 9.3.2 and 9.3.3, and then you could downgrade or upgrade to those two firmwares. Now, because Apple actually stopped signing those two firmwares as of yesterday, you can no longer do this process. Also, as of earlier today, Apple did release iOS 9.3.5. And it's a little bit weird because iOS 9.3.4 actually had come out. It was a rushed update. Basically, what happened was iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3 got jailbroken by Pangu. They released a jailbreak. If you've been living under a rock, maybe you didn't know that. But they released a jailbreak. And so then probably like a week and a half, two weeks... After they actually released the jailbreak, Apple swiftly went ahead and released iOS 9.3.4 directly as a public software update. It did not, you know, have a beta cycle. Sometimes very, you know, it, it changes, it varies. Uh, sometimes there are, you know, cases where iOS 9 point whatever point whatever gets a beta and maybe that patches the jailbreak. But a lot of times, if it's a jailbreak patching firmware, they automatically, you know, roll out the update publicly because they want to make sure it gets out there as soon as possible because a jailbreak for them is kind of seen as a threat because a jailbreak opens up the walls of, you know, certain security measures that they have on the device. So what's going on, you know, while I talk about that, what's going on with iOS 9.3.5? What happened? So, like I said, Apple went ahead and released iOS 9.3.4, actually going ahead and patching Pangu's exploits and therefore patching the iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3 jailbreak. So, out of nowhere, earlier today, we saw iOS 9.3.5 release, and nobody knew this was going to happen. Like, my thinking was, okay, they patched the jailbreak already, 9.3.4 is going to be the last iOS 9 version. There's going to be no more unless maybe there's a critical bug they had to fix, which, you know, that's what happened. But normally, it's not really that case. Normally, it's like they're done. That's it. It's it's done. They're not doing another update. They already pushed out 9.3.4 to patch the jailbreak, so there's no reason to do another update. Well, an article came in from the New York Times basically detailing that an Israeli company actually developed three different, it sounds like three different zero-day exploits. They found three different zero-day exploits that basically could be used to intercept phone calls, emails, text messages. Now, I'm not sure if that's just text messages or also iMessages. I'm guessing that's iMessages too, but it's kind of like a, uh, you know, a scenario where it's like, obviously, that's, you don't want to have to deal with that with people, you know, intercepting your phone calls and text messages and emails. And it's kind of like somebody's like watching over you and watching your every move. And it's kind of like, you know, freaky. So what's going on with that? So basically, Apple, some some companies submitted the fact that this was a thing to Apple, and Apple basically responded back saw that, responded quickly and swiftly, and released iOS 9.3.5 today. So it was kind of confusing when it first came out because nobody really knew the reason for it until, you know, it came out later on that it fixes this huge security vulnerability. And so basically, uh, the article goes on to say that these exploits were basically used to install a web-based jailbreak. And so obviously... This is kind of a little bit interesting because the exploits that Pangu released 
Although, yes, there's the airplane mode method, and before that, when you could actually just tap and install before all the certificates were revoked by Apple, it's not quite, you know, having that jailbreak me type exploit where it goes into Safari, Safari crashes, and then City it installs. It's not that same thing. It's a little bit different, but it is very, very interesting because, you know, a random user could go on a website and, you know, basically just have a jailbreak on there in the background and they wouldn't even know that. So that's basically what's going on with this. Basically what it does is you could be sent a link and if you go on that link using Safari, it might not tell you, it might run something in the background. And if it runs something in the background, it could install Cydia and hide it or something. And then it will install malware on your device and use that to spy on you to, you know, get your phone calls, to get your emails, to get your text messages. So basically, a lot of you guys are probably asking me, well, I'm on iOS 9.2, iOS 9.3, 9.3.3. I'm jailbroken. I'm not jailbroken, but I'm going to jailbreak. I don't want to update. I don't want to lose the possibility of having a jailbreak or I don't want to lose my jailbreak. So what can I do? Do I need to update? Should I update? The answer from me is no, you don't have to update. And I say this because the exploit is kind of your, the, the multiple exploits that this, you know, uses in order to actually do this is kind of complicated. And, you know, even though you, yes, technically are at risk, uh, if you're not on iOS 9.3.5 as of right now, that is not to say that soon in the very, very near future, hopefully, because this tends to happen a lot in the jailbreaking community, once there is a security vulnerability that is, you know, a decent security vulnerability that a lot of people could be affected by, a lot of jailbreak developers actually go ahead and develop a patch for it. Uh, so that way you can stay on your whatever iOS version you're on and you don't have to update and you can actually use that patch. So what's actually probably going to happen eventually is you're going to be able to launch Cydia, go into Cydia, search for a package. And what that package is going to do is it's going to patch up this security, this huge security vulnerability. Um, and it will make it so you are no longer vulnerable on iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3. So if you care about your jailbreak at all, honestly, I would stay away from any sketchy websites whatsoever. Just try to stay away from any sketchy websites. Some of that might be difficult for you, depending on what you do on the internet. <laughs> um, but just trust me when I say as long as you're, you know, doing what, you know, you should be doing in terms of like, don't go on, on anything sketchy on the internet, on your device, as long as you're not doing that and going on the internet on your device with, you know, sketchy things, you should be fine. Now, then again, this is just me talking. I'm a user. Um, you know, I'm not a developer. I'm not a security researcher. So I don't know any of this stuff for sure. But from my understanding, this is basically what it is right now, and this is how it affects people, and it affects people through a text message, so, or not not even really a text message, that's not what I meant. What I meant was it affects people through Safari because the guy that originated from this, that got affected, got texted a link through a text message. So if you got texted like random weird links that don't look familiar, don't open that, um, and keep your uh, internet activity on your device to, you know, normal internet activity and you should be fine. But I just wanted to take the time out to explain that to you guys. So hopefully you guys now have a better understanding of why iOS 9.3.5 was issued, plus the fact that unfortunately Apple has since stopped signing iOS 9.3.2 and iOS 9.3.3 so you can no longer downgrade or upgrade and jailbreak. However, like I said, if you're on iOS 9.2, 9.3, 9.3.2, or 9.3.3, and you want to jailbreak, go ahead. Link will be down below in the description to actually go ahead and jailbreak. I have the English method to sideload with Cydia Impactor, and also the Chinese version to uh, basically do the airplane mode method. So both of those videos will be down below in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at the Apple Attack. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is David signing out. Peace.